Okay, this third method is going to be the one that you will probably use the most. Um, you'll see we are going to call this the FOIL method, and the FOIL method stands for first, outer, inner, and last. Okay. Now, this first outer, inner, last, and if you if I underlined the letters F O I L, and that's where the foil comes from. First outer, inner, last. Okay. So you'll hear this used a lot as a um, as a kind of memory device for what you need to do. Okay, so essentially what we're saying here, and we'll do 21 as an example, we take the first term in each of the binomials. That's the first term in each of the binomials. And I am going to use these colors because I think it'll be convenient. The first term in each of these binomials, and you multiply them together. You get x times 4x, 4x squared. Okay. Now, you do the outer terms. First, outer. This is the outside. It's closer to the outside versus the inside. Outer terms. Okay. Um, and again, if you know what I mean, like this is the inside where they meet together on the inside, and this is going away on the outside. So those are the outer terms. So we multiply those together, and we got negative 5 times x or negative 5x. Then we've got to do the inner terms, and the inner terms are the ones that are inside, closest on the inside. These in the light blue. 4 times 4x, 16x, so we have to put plus 16x. And then last, the last term in each one of these. And that's the last term in each one of these. Um, 4 times negative 5, negative 20. Okay? And what do we get? What do we have to combine? We have to combine these x terms because they are like terms. And what do we get as a result? We get 4x squared, negative 5 plus 16 becomes positive 11x and then minus 20. And we'll box our answer. Okay? And we're going to do the same thing for the rest of these. So let me move this down a little bit so we have a little more space to do the foiling. Um, another way you'll see it is like this. You'll see it as like um, the first term in each, first times first, like that. 5m squared. The outer terms, that times that. 5m times 3, 15m. Then you have the inner terms, this times this, negative 2m. And then finally you have the last terms, like that. Negative 2 times 3, negative 6. And then again, you have to identify what are the like terms. These are the like terms. And so we are going to combine them. 5m squared. The 15 and the negative 2 becomes positive 13m. And then minus 6. That is your answer. And we will do that one more time. And I'm going to do this kind of rainbowing effect here to connect first, outer, inner, and last. Okay, the first term in each one, here times here. And I'm going to show you another way that I do this too. Not really a different way, just you'll see. Um, 4, 4 w times w is 4 w squared outer. Uh, let's see, what are we using for outer screen? Okay. 
4w times 2, 8w. And you see that what we did there is we essentially, just like we did in the distributive property in the early video, we took 4w and we multiplied both things from the second binomial by 4w. 4w times w and 4w times 2. Now we're going to go to the inner and the last using the 13. And the inner is this. This is what I was just going to say is that I sometimes like to go underneath so I'm not getting all that crossing over. It doesn't really make a difference. This is really a memory thing that you don't actually need to put these marks once you know what you're doing. You can just do it in your head without drawing the lines. But inner, 13 times w, 13w, and last, 13 times 2, or 26. Okay, so you can see that now we did, just like that early video with the distributive property, we did the 13 times both things in the other binomial. 13 times w, 13 times 2. Now we identify what are the like terms. These are the w terms here. And what do we get as a result? We get, of course, first the 4w squared. And then by combining this 8, positive 8 and positive 13, we get positive 21. W plus the 26. And we will box that answer. We are done. That's the FOIL method. You're going to get real comfortable with this because you're going to use it a lot.